Hi everyone. So um, today I'm going to be doing a haul video. Uh, I went to Arizona for about 10 days um, and I bought a lot of things. I bought clothes, I bought souvenirs, I bought makeup, beauty products, um, like tanning stuff and everything. So I felt that I needed to do a haul, especially because I haven't done a video in a really long time. Um, I'm very sorry for that. I know it's been a month or two and that's just because I've just been really busy with school. Um, I've had like the vacation and everything. So that with work and everything, I just hadn't had a good amount of time to sit down and film a video without being stressed out about how I could be doing like homework or something. Anyways, um, I'll just jump into it and I'll just start with the beauty products. So recently I um, actually got a gym, a gym membership at a new gym. Um, they have a tanning bed as well as my old one, but um, basically I, when I was in Alta um, in the States, I saw, oh, we don't have an Alta in Canada, by the way, so um, going to Alta was really exciting for me, and I spent like a really long time looking at everything, but um, basically I bought this uh, really cheap, it was like $7, it's a tanning bed lotion. Um, I don't know really it says LA Express um, six level tanning dark tanning lotion um, with ultra firming or skin firming anyways that's pretty cool I don't know how it works I um, actually they lost our luggage in the airport on the way home so when I've been in the tanning bed since I've been home I actually haven't been using anything because I just didn't want to buy a new one if I knew that I'd be getting this um, anyway so this is what it looks like I don't know if you can like see it properly but that's what it is it's a really decent size too like you get a lot of tanning lotion or not tanning lotion but like um, like the lotion it is um, just for like seven or eight dollars I don't even it could have been five dollars I don't even really remember um, the next thing uh, is um, I don't know like a tanning stick it's supposed to help you um, when you're fake tanning and you're putting on your lotion and everything it just like snaps like that and you put the tanning lotion there and then it can reach the like harder spots for of your body and everything um, I just bought that because I know I have a really difficult time reaching my back when um, I'm fake tanning so obviously that's hopefully gonna come in handy if it works well and doesn't just like take the product off um, the next thing I got from Ulta was um, this face tanning it's like a daily moisturizer but it's for your face and it's a bronzing glow so I consider it a face tanner so I'll probably be doing it like obviously I'm not fake tanned right now or tanned at all um, I'll be putting this on my face I'll let you guys know how it how it is because I really like to like fake tan and um, like try new tans so if this is like working then I'll let you guys know the next thing I got from Ulta was um, this shave works get smooth that's all it says. Anyways, and that's what it is. I don't know if you can... That's what it looks like. Um, on the inside you get this uh, shave gel. I'll just open it up. It's basically for your... Um, when you get ingrown hairs after you shave and everything. You actually shave with this little like gel. So you put that on your legs or like wherever you're <laughs> trying to um, get rid of those little ingrown hairs and everything. And you, um, I think this is just, you shave with it and it's supposed to like prevent the ingrown hairs from happening. Um, I think it just opens up your pores more and lets like the hair that you're shaving come through smoothly rather than like you getting those ingrown hairs after you're shaving. Um, the next part that came with it, oh okay, this one's actually says um, exfoliates and reduces razor irritation, blah 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 blah. Um, what is this? Oh, this is the shave cream. And this is the lotion I guess you put on after, so I was wrong. But the next product I got from Ulta was this Tarte uh, High Performance CC. It's basically an eyebrow tint, but um, it looks like this, and it's in the color gray. And I got it because my two sisters also bought it before me when we went to like Ulta like the day or two before. And they bought the same color I used one of theirs in my eyebrows and my eyebrows are very like naturally filled the problem with for me is that sometimes when I take pictures and stuff and like from certain angles you can see where like there should be more hair and stuff like that anyways so that's what the packaging looks like on that and the brush inside is very small 
I don't know if you can even see it that well. Anyway, so it's really small. Um, I put it in my eyebrows today, so they might look like a bit better. Hopefully, <laughs> I hope so, because it was like $22 plus tag. So. And the last thing I got at Ulta was the First Naked Basics palette. So um, I don't know who and who hasn't seen this before, but let me open it. The colors are just very matte, natural looking colors. And the reason I wanted this palette is because my younger sister has it. And I honest, honestly, I go to Sephora like more than I should, especially because I work in a mall. And on my hour-long breaks, I want to go look at the makeup. And this is, the Urban Decay stuff is right in the beginning of the Sephora. And this is one of the things that I always think about buying because it has all the colors, like... When I go to school and stuff, I don't wear a lot of makeup, so I just like something like this, but I just, again, I'm such a cheap person that I didn't want to spend the money on it for just, like, basic little colors like that that I thought I could find, like, a dupe at the drugstore or something. Anyways, I never found one, and my sister had this palette, and I kept using it, so I figured I might as well just buy my own because I don't want to use my younger sister's makeup when, like, she, she's probably not going to want to buy a new one, you know? Alright, the next place I went to was Walgreens, and I bought a few things that... Okay, so one thing I needed was eyeliner, and I always buy liquid eyeliner to do the wing um, over my eye. And I saw the brand Jordana, and I I don't have a Jordana like line or any like Jordana products in um, Canada that I've noticed yet. Um, anyway, so I was really kind of excited about that. I know it's not like the like most exciting brand to like want to buy when you're traveling and stuff but it's just because like I haven't tried it before and it was a good price so um I didn't even mean to buy this one so I got the cat the black um the black there we go looks like that it's called like the cat wing liner or cat eye liner um it's not the one I wanted to buy. I actually, it was in like the wrong little cubby hole and I was testing out another one and I was like, oh yeah, that's great. I don't want this one. I just opened it. So I like pulled out the other one and it was this and this isn't what I wanted. I don't like when the eyeliner um, like brush is really like, like flexible because when I put it in like the littlest areas, it's going to just not go on the skin properly. Basically, I the only reason I like this though is to um, when I do my eyeliner I'll just take it and put it on top because it's actually very black like it pops and I don't know basically it's nice just to put over the eyeliner so um, I'll probably be like keeping this in my makeup bag but it's not what I went to buy um, the next thing I bought at Walgreens was this fit me uh, matte and poreless foundation um, I really like this um, there's not too much to say about it. I just find it is very well, um, it covers my skin very well and all my acne spots and freckles. Um, and it is very matte, especially if you use, um, I have like the Becca Matte and Poreless um, Primer. And if you put a matte primer on and then put the matte foundation on, it looks really good. Like you can, you don't see any shine and it looks very nice. Um, anyways, so the next thing I got, they're all lip, lip products. Sorry if I'm stuttering a lot. I'm very tired. Um, this one is by Jordana. It's um, a lip liner. It says Easy Liner Retractable Pencil for Lips Rose Crush. So this is the color. I'll try to see if you guys can see that color. Yo, my nails are really gross. I'm really sorry I didn't do them. But anyways, basically that's the color. I don't have any lip liners, so when I saw that for like a dollar or something, I was like, hey, I have to buy it because it's just very um, like natural looking color. I put it on today, but um, you can't really see it because I was wiping my lips. My lips were like not the right color for like my makeup. Basically, I don't know if it's on my lips right now, but I tried putting it on. Uh, the next thing I got was um, this lip gloss. It's by Jordana as well. It says Lip Out Loud. Um, super shiny gloss, blah, blah, blah. I don't see a color. FYI. I think that's the color. Anyways, basically, I really like this, but um, I think 
sometimes like when I put products on my my like cheeks like blushes and stuff I feel like my whole face went that color like right now I feel like I all my blushes all over my face like I just feel like my face is really pink like a lot more pinker than I want it to look um anyway so that's what happened when I put this lip product on today and I tried taking it off and I just put on a clear lip gloss but the glossy one is um the lip gloss that is this one here um it's really nice it's just a subtle pink not too much to say about it I just kind of wanted it um and then these wet and wild lipsticks I just got because they were 99 cents and you can't go wrong um this one I don't know the color what is it uh 50 oh will you be with me okay sorry can't read apparently anyways that's the color there I'll put it right here so it's the top one there I tried it on though and I don't know if I like it yet I think I just have to like find a makeup look that needs that color um same with this one this one I live in Canada so um there is a lot of winter going on right now. I just felt like this was a really pretty color for, yeah, no, I really like that. It didn't work when I was in Arizona because, like, I just stood out way too much. So I took it off my lips right when I put it on. And then, um, but now I'm really excited to use, I want all of those colors on my lips right now. Because, like, looking at it, I do really like them. I just feel like you need, for, like, lip colors, because they're so bold, and, like, sometimes my bottom lip can look really big, depending, like, what I do to it and stuff like that. But, um, basically, I, uh, I like all of those colors. I just want to find makeup looks that match those colors, because you can't really just put any lip color on that you want for the day. You can't, Well, I mean, you could, but... Personally, I just feel like you need to do your face makeup and then pick the perfect color that matches the makeup, obviously, right? Anyway, so the next place I went to was, um, I think it was actually in Walmart, maybe? I don't know. It was in some sort of, like, food... Yeah, it was Walmart. Anyways, basically, I went to Walmart and there was a bunch of e.l.f. things that were, like, a dollar to three dollars, so obviously I'm gonna, like, check that out. Like, you can't go wrong when things are only, like, a buck or something and you see that they might work. Like, why don't you just try them? Because you might as well do it with things that are a dollar or 99 cents or three dollars. You, like, you can't go wrong because, like, what are you losing? Two dollars? Like, whatever. <laughs> I lose two dollars every day when I go get my hot chocolates in the morning. But, basically, um, this is a baked blush by e.l.f looks like this I find it more of a highlighter because of all the shimmer I don't know if you can see exactly what it looks like but it has like pinks um, it's like a dark ra uh, like raspberry pink with a lot of gold like highlight and that's like what it mostly is okay but basically I did try it before and I think I would just use it as a highlighter because I wouldn't put this all over my cheekbones, especially in the winter, because I don't want to look like that. Like, in the summer when I'm tanned and as tanned as I can be, I I'm not really tanned compared to most people, <laughs> but when I'm darker, uh, I think it will look a lot nicer than, like, putting it on right now. The next thing I got was um, a baked eyeshadow by e.l.f., and it's in the color Bark. This one's a really pretty color if you're doing any um, kind of, like, smoky eye. It looks like this and there's a lot of sheen to it. Um, not too much to say about this except for that I will be using it a lot. I tried it, like, it's one of those colors that I find it actually doesn't blend too well, like, on its own, but if you put, like, um, colors that kind of would go with it and then put this on top of the eyeshadow and use it as that kind of... My sweater looks really short sleeve today. I don't know what's going on. Anyways. Basically, um, it does look really nice, but you kind of have to use it as, like, like, you need multiple colors going on or else it doesn't look that nice. It's kind of weird. The next thing I bought was another eyeshadow, and this is called Enchanted. Exact same kind of idea. It's sheen and everything as well, but this one's more of a gold color. So that's going to be something I'm going to use if I ever want to look like a Victoria's Secret model because it will highlight the like my eye lid and it will make my eyes pop. And I love pretending I'm a Victoria's Secret model just like every other girl on this planet. And don't lie, every girl wants to be a Victoria's Secret model one day. I'm not the only one. <laughs> okay. 
Anyways, um, the next thing I got, oh, I, so the next store I went to was Lush, and this is also exciting because we don't have too many Lushes around my house. We have one here, um, in Ottawa where I, uh, live, but, um, I don't know, it's just like too far to drive. And you gotta park your par park your car and pay for the parking and find the store and I'm just too lazy and anyways so this is a scalp treatment it's called Super Bomb um, I don't know it doesn't really basically what it is I went in and I told the girl that I just I don't really shop here and I know what their products are I know what they sell I know what they um, try to create and what I'm looking for is something for my scalp because my scalp's dry my hair wasn't my hair's not dry like it's not and it's not that I just want something for my scalp because it was just like really like itchy and stuff so this is what it looks like oh okay ah that's what it looks like there and it's basically a paste that you put on your scalp 20 minutes before shampooing or even getting your hair wet and you leave it on and it's supposed to um, hydrate your scalp so I hope that works because it was um, a lot but well it wasn't that much it was like 20 bucks but still like 20 bucks is 20 bucks so the next thing I got was a bath bomb and it's completely broken Wah! dusty oh my god I don't know if you can see this do you see that? There's like parts like... Anyways, that was a bath bomb except because my luggage was like thrown all over the place for a few days because they lost it. I'm sure they just didn't care that I might have something broken, like valuable in there. Not that it's valuable, it's a bath bomb. It was $5. I'm just gonna like probably dump the thing upside down in my bath one day. But this is another, it's not a bath bomb well like bath bomb but it is technically like you drop it in the bath and it doesn't it like dissolves just like uh, the bath bombs do but I'm not gonna take it out because it's really greasy I'll just try to like show you it like this basically it's a lump it looks like a cupcake almost but um, what it is it is uh, supposed to like hydrate your skin and I'll probably take like half of it or like a quarter of it and put it in because it's huge and I don't think I'd need that much and I don't really want to like use it all in one use because I'm just I want to savor my things um, anyway so that's actually it for my beauty haul I'm gonna make this one a beauty haul and then I'm gonna make another one for my clothing so um, I'll try to link one of the two I don't know which one's gonna be up first but if you just scroll down one of the two will be underneath um, this one's gonna be the beauty makeup kind of haul the next one's gonna be the clothing haul that I got um, I went to a bunch of stores I went to um, cotton on I actually didn't go to too many stores I went to a lot of stores but I only bought a bunch of things from certain stores so basically just look for my clothing haul um, I hope you guys liked this video and if you did give it a thumbs up thank you bye